Today, I'm going to present our work on dynamic local manipulation via bilateral tall operation with position force control modes. Here, we plan to show the robot accomplishing a number of tasks, including heavy box pushing and human robot collaboration in carrying an object. Our methodology consists of using motion force control modes for tele manipulation and tele locomotion. An operator controls the robot and switches between the control modes at their discretion. Initially, arm joint position control enables precise end effector motion tracking, a stiff interface with the human collaborator, and here resist rotation. Impedance control of the arms provides compliance, as shown, for a robot follower like role. Dynamic force feedback, as shown on the right, is applied to the teleoperator attempting to align the human and robot motions. This feedback helps the pilot distinguish it between drifting and intentional movements from the collaborator. For a leader-like role, the pilot chooses joint position control of the arms to render a stiffer interface, rotate the object, and guide the collaborator. In the next set of DLM tasks, we show heavy box sliding experiments. The robot can move a box weighing 40 to 80% of its body mass in 2D. In this video, the robot tries to push the box into destination slot number one. In the second trial, the robot tries to slot the box into destination slot number two. When the box is stuck, the moment feedback is turned on to provide the pilot with a sense of the forces applied at each hand, enabling them to decide if the robot is applying significant forces. Confirming increased moment feedback, the pilot tries a different strategy, focusing more on lifting the box. Since the box is not sliding, the contact with the box is fixed and the estimated external moment feedback is much smoother. Using both visual and haptic feedback, the pilot is ultimately able to dislodge the box.